Welcome to Homeroom Guidance, Quarter 3, Module 8. Together, it will be easier. So again, we have Homeroom Guidance, Grade 8, Quarter 3, Module 8. Together, it will be easier. Ito ang gabay sa magulang or tagapangalaga. Isinulat ang module na ito upang gabayan ang mga mag-aaral na linangin ang kanyang aspektong personal, social, akademiko at karera. Dinisayan niyo ito sa alter alternatibong pamaraan na pagkatuto na hindi nangangailangan ng presensya sa paaralan bilang tugon sa direktiba na pinalabas ng kagawaran ng edukasyon na naaayon sa Interagency Task Force. Maaaring may pagkakataon na hingi ng mag-aaral ang inyong patnubay sa pagsunod sa mga tagubilin at pagsagot sa mga tanong sa bawat bahagi ng gawain. Hinihiling na kagawaran ang inyong suporta upang matagumpay niyang maisakutuparan ang mga gawain ito. Tiyakin na sasagot tinya ang bawat bahagi ng module ng tapat. Naglalayong gabayan sa module na ito ang mag-aaral na magpupunyagi patungo sa tagumpay sa tulong ng kanyang mga karanasan sa kanyang pamilya, paaralan at komunidad. Sinasulong nito ang mas malalim na pagkilala sa sarili upang maihanda ang mga mag-aaral sa pagharap sa mga hamon ng buhay. Sa module na ito, alalahanin Nila ang mga natatanging karanasang maaari nilang paghugutan ng tibay ng kalooban, gayon din ang mga pamamaraan maaari niyang magamit sa kanyang kasalukuyang katayuan. Okay, so we have the introductory message. So, lagi po natin itong nakikita sa at bawat module. So, meron tayong let's try this, let's explore this, keep in mind, you can do it, what I have learned, at saka, share your thoughts and feelings. So, we have here learning objectives. So, at the end of this module, you are expected to, number one, enumerate gross healthy problem-solving methods. Number two, promote concern for others by sharing acquired skills in solving problem. And number three, practice responsible behaviors in responding to one's challenges, others, and needs of the community. So, for the period of week 1 of third quarter, so suggested time, total time allotment is 80 minutes. Materials needed is clean sheets of paper and ball pen. For the introduction in the last lesson, you learned that in making decisions in choosing a career, it is important to consider personal abilities and experiences as well as the opinions of parents guardians, and others. In this module, you will learn the importance of helping yourself and others when facing problems. To realize the importance of helping oneself and helping others involved in meeting the challenges in life, as you face less challenges or problems, you must acquire problem-solving skills and recognize the importance of helping and supporting one another. With the help and support of others, it will be easy for you to face the challenges of life. Always remember, you are responsible for yourself and others as well, and that together it will be easier. Okay, let's try this. So, suggested time allotment is 20 minutes. So, I will read the pros and cons. On a sh clean sheet of paper, copy and answer the table below. Enumerated in the table are possible problems or challenges that teenagers face. Identify solutions and enumerate the pros or the advantages and cons or disadvantages for each solution to come up with an effective and healthy way of solving problems. Ask also your parents, your guardians, or older siblings, what would be their answer for the given situation? Write the responses in the corresponding columns. Examples have been given to guide you. Answer the processing questions after. 
Okay, so the given example here for the challenges or problems is you broke the favorite glass of your mother. Then the solution given is I will hide the broken glass and wait until my mother will notice that her favorite glass is missing. Tatago mo ba? Yung nabasag mo? Next, ang kanyang advantages, my mother won't know until she will look for it. The disadvantages, my mother will get angry that I broke the glass, but I will be guilty of not telling her the truth. Or the other solution, I will tell my mother immediately and ask for an apology. The advantage, she will understand and appreciate my honesty. The disadvantage, she might be angry because of the broken glass. Next, another solution, I will buy a replacement. The advantage, my mother will not notice it. The disadvantage, I don't have enough money and I might not find the same kind of glass in the store. So what will be the best solution? I will tell my mother that I accent accidentally broke her favorite glass, ask for an apology, and I will promise to be careful next time. Now for the let's try this. Okay, this will be the situation. Your teacher informed you that you lack or have not completed the modules yet. You are given a chance to comply, but you cannot understand the lessons and nobody is around in your house to assist you. So what will be the best solution or the solutions, the advantages, the disadvantages, and what will be your final solution? Solution as the best solution. And the next, another situation here is... You and your best friend got caught because you violated the health protocols by not wearing a face mask. So what will be the solution? And for that solution, what will be the advantage and disadvantage? And what will be the best solution? Next scene is you want to go out with your friends, but your parents will not allow you. What will be the solution, the advantages and the disadvantages, and what will be the best solution for it? And after that, you are going to answer the processing questions. Number one, does the identification of the pros or the advantages and cons or disadvantages help in coming up with a healthy problem-solving solution? Enumerate the ways how it help you. Number two, did the suggestions of others help you? How? And number three, do this method of solving problems effective or helpful? How? For the next activity, we have let's explore this. So suggested time allotment is 20 minutes. So the direction given here is copy and answer the table below. Using the same method of solving problems, ask your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friend, or anyone that you think needs your help or has a concern. Ask what problem he or she might be facing today and how you can help him or her by suggesting a solution. After suggesting the best solution to their problem or concern, Share how did you come up with your suggestion and answer the processing questions after. So this time, kayo naman yung magbibigay ng solution or ng suggestion to those who have problems. Okay, so look at this table. So what is the problem of? So you are going to state the name of your brother, your sister, cousin, or your friend. Next. So, your solution to his or her problem. Then, you are going to write the advantages and the disadvantages of that solution. And then, final, 
or the last part is you are going to determine the best solution to that problem. The processing questions given here is, did the method use in coming up with a healthy solution to the problem effective in helping others? How? Is it important to help others find and share a solution to their problems? Why? Okay, next, keep in mind, so suggested time allotment here is 10 minutes. When you were younger, you were not mindful of your actions. You do things without thinking about the consequences. You act as if you are the only person in this world. But as you grow older, you start to understand that there are other people around you and that you live in a community. You also begin to notice that there are changes in yourself that you need to cope with and along with it are problems and challenges but there are ways how to solve problems. The following steps will help you to solve most of the problems with ACE. Step one is to identify the problem. What is the facing or what is the problem challenge or challenge you are facing? Number two, identify solutions. Come up with the possible solutions and think of the same situation that worked before. Step three, possible consequences. In coming up with possible solutions, think of the advantages and disadvantages. Step four, choose the best solution. So after looking and thinking of the pros and cons, pick the best action for the problem. And step five, evaluate. You are going to check if it is working. If not, try something else. A certain nature, some challenges are happening in your life that sometimes make you anxious. Don't be afraid. This is part of growing up. Do not hesitate to consult your teacher, advisor, your counselor, or your parents about these issues and concerns. The steps above will help you find healthy solutions to problems or challenges that you may encounter, and eventually you will be able to help others as well. Together, it will be easier. Next, you can do it. So suggested time allotment here is 10 minutes. Complete the sentences below with their learning about healthy problem solving methods in encountering challenges. Write your answers on a clean sheet of paper. So letter A, someone is asking my assistants to do the household chores, but I just finished answering all my activities in school and I want to go back to sleep since I woke up very early. I will blank next scenario letter b during this time of pandemic my father and mother left our house very early since they have to catch the first trip to their workplace i and my siblings have seven have seven to cook our food and and, and look after ourselves to help my parents i blank and for letter C, to take part and contribute to the community with a challenge faced by our country during this time of the pandemic, I will blank. Next, what I have learned, suggested time allotment is 10 minutes. Complete the phrase below. Write your answer on a clean sheet of paper. So you will start with the sentence, healthy problem solution is blank. You are given 10 minutes to answer this of what you have learned in this module. In the last part, share your thoughts and feelings. So suggested time allotment here is 10 minutes. 
So there is only one question that you are going to answer in a clean sheet of paper. So what does this phrase mean? No one or no man is an island. Again, what does this phrase mean? No man is an island. So this is the uh, content of your homeroom guidance module for the third quarter. And I thank you.